So this was the swimming pool, and now it's just filled with a garden. Wow. Look at this corner. Look at this stop sign. You think everybody knows Vinny in this neighborhood? I love the moss on this. Aunt Ethel. I wish it wasn't raining. I would like to hang out here all day. Yeah, they're out there waiting for us in the rain. So what town are we in, Sean? We are in Pembroke, New Hampshire. Pembroke, New Hampshire, cool car. And I'm Greg Whitsock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitsock, the Pond Guy, all about showcasing how people, even in the rain, live the aquascape lifestyle. We are with Sean Frost of Naturescapes. Let's go check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond in the rain. Hi, April. Hi. Come under my umbrella. How are yeah. you doing? I'm asking, how are and you? And this is April Frost, Sean's former business partner. So did you build this pond? Yeah, we did. And now you got your own business, right? Yep. What's your company? American Waterscapes. American Waterscapes and Naturescapes. Are you Vinny? I am Vinny. Hey, Vinny. How you doing? I'm the pond guy. I love your spirit, my man. You can always tell a pond guy's house. Look at how beautiful the garden is. I love it. The hostas out here. Okay, was this the existing pond? No, this is one that we built. Wow, Ooh. this is gorgeous. <laughs> now I see what you were talking about with all the neighbor kids coming here. Oh, look at this. I love this little wetland filter up here on the top with this moss. Dude, I was not expecting this. So Vinny, this is where all the neighbor kids like to feed your fish, huh? <laughs> right down there by the hair. Look at this canopy of this tree. This is really special. So this was the second pond, Vinny, huh? This is the second pond. I love how it's in the front yard. So how long ago? 10 years ago. Oh, a while. Years. And how long did you have the first pond in that's on the side? That pond was put in probably five years before that. <laughs> this pond, you get two views. You get a view. If you're standing up here, you get a view of the tributaries coming down. But if you're down there and looking up, you see the falls coming off both sides and so forth. So it gives you a different perspective of which end you're on. It is spectacular. I really, really like this integrated wetland that you did up on the top. We tend to do these a lot a lot of times with the trees around here and it's a little bit less maintenance and the costs are similar maybe a little bit more with the wetland filter on top but we use a skimmer on this one down on the with, far end well look at look at this tree this canopy here this is silver maple what is this norway maple norway maple okay but it's just a real tranquil thing i mean right next to the front door i mean any single person that comes up here this is why everybody knows you in the neighborhood all the kids come over here huh well yeah they're the ones that feed the fish yes so that, they stand right here Yep. And there they are down there. It is gorgeous. I love how you split the stream. I love the moss. So we got shade. So we've got great opportunity for moss to grow in here. And I just got an aqua blocks under there. Exactly. Yep.
So is this your hobby? Your wife's? Both we, of we yours? We together. Well, 48 years you have been living in this house, tending this garden. Wow, look at those elephant ears. Look at the size of that. And then this is the pond that started it all, huh? Came out after dinner one night with a garden hose. Looped it around and that's okay. That's what it's going to be. I love it. Boy, so intricate. Holy cow, look at that garden shed over there. This is a cool yard. This is a neat stepways here. This is cool. Oh man, I wish it wasn't raining. I would like to hang out here all day. How much property do you have here? A half an acre and I use every inch of it. You really do use every inch of this half acre. All the kids that come into the yard to stop and say hi to Aunt Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Ethel, I love it. Are you retired, Vinny? Yeah. What did you do? Well, for 42 years I was in insurance claims. <laughs> so this was your therapy? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Caladium. Wow, look at all of the annuals. Jeez. I love the moss on this reclaimed lumber. One of the things about my vlog is I get to experience the gardens the same time you do. And it's not just the pond. It's called living the aquascape lifestyle for a reason. You could just tell this is a labor of love. This garden is absolutely exquisite. Look at that little birdhouse with the succulents on it. And then they get the porch up here. So you raise the family here. Two kids. So this was the swimming pool and now it's just filled with a garden. Wow. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is fantastic, Vinny. You should be very proud. This is a pond that was built about 15 years ago. We did a renovation to this pond. It had an undergravel filter system in it with a pump permanently mounted in the bottom. And what we did is pull all that stuff out. It had become anaerobic and the pump had stopped working. The pond was leaking. We rebuilt the whole bottom, rocked in the perimeter a little bit, and then we're able to rock in the bottom of it. We added an Aquascape Signature Series skimmer, an Aquasurge 3000. It has a bubbling rock in the corner coming down through that moss area. And then the stream starts up up at the top there is a small little wetland filter area and that cascades down through very narrow stream only about 10 12 inches wide Kind of an interesting pond. You see a lot of these little rocks all the way along here being continuously added to. Anybody that comes and visits, Erica and Vinny, brings them a rock from wherever they are within our country. And all of these rocks are labeled on the back, tell you where they are from. So it's kind of a, an interesting part of this garden landscape here and tells a bit of a story. So this is an 11 by 16 pond with two 10 foot streams. The streams are fairly narrow, about 12 to 14 inches max width. There's a small wetland filter up at the top. That's about three by six. That diverges in the two streams. 11 by 16 pond has a signature series skimmer with an Aquascapes two to four adjustable flow pump. This pond is built right in the front yard. I'll back up so you can see that. So all of the neighborhood kids come here to feed the fish in front of this pond and you can walk right up to the edge. This is just off the street.
is, wife, Erica. Erica, is he a good assistant for you in your gardens? You know what? <laughs> he is. He does the hardscape with the rocks and the walls and the, you know, I need something here, Vinny. I need something. And he takes care of the lawn. And then we both argue a little bit about where things go. <laughs> no, no, no. Argue works. a little bit. 57 years of marriage. Yeah. That's impressive. So Vinny told me he has over a hundred varieties of hostas in here. I didn't even know they had a hundred varieties of hostas. Wow. Look at this corner. Look at this stop sign. You think everybody knows Vinny in this neighborhood? How much nicer is this than just a lawn? 42 years Vinny and his wife have lived in here. Been married for 57. How impressive is that? And what I love about this is this is a very traditional neighborhood. Anything but a traditional yard. And what I love showcasing on my vlogs is what people are doing, not just with the ponds, but the entire landscape. This is just absolutely incredible. And this is an exquisite entire property. And for me to be able to travel, even in the rain, it's still fun to see how people are living the aquascape lifestyle out here in New Hampshire and all over the world. I love my job.